everybody, today I wanted to show you some of the new products that I have been using including some of my old time favourites. You can find all of the products listed below with some links as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to read all of your comments below. I've started with my Rodeal Bee Venom eye cream all over the eyes and underneath just to smooth out any fine lines and wrinkles. Then on the rest of my face I have used my Embryolisse moisturising cream. To prime my lids I have used the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer and to prime the rest of my face I have used the Rodial Instaglam Airbrush Primer. For foundation I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury in Light Wonder and this is in Four Fair and I'm just applying this with my Beauty Blender, dotting to distribute it around the face then blending it in not forgetting down the neck. I then felt like doing my eyebrows next so I'm just brushing them through then using my archery brow pencil in brownie points just to shape my brows before taking my Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown and I'm just using the ends of this on the skin where I don't have any hair and then brushing through the rest of my brow. To correct underneath my eyes I'm going to use the Rodial Instaglam Magic Pen and I'm just running this down some areas of dark discoloration here and I'm just going to use it also to highlight underneath the brow and I'm just patting that in with my finger then and I'm also going to use this just to cover up a spot that I have because it's a really good colour for my skin I'm then going to highlight and conceal using my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost and I'm dotting this today because too much product came out with to start but I'm just applying this in my usual highlighting places and to conceal under the eyes and blending this in with the warmth of my finger. I'm using Daniel Sandler Watercolour Blush in Flush and just tapping this into my cheeks before rubbing it to ensure I have a nice even blend on my cheeks. I'm then taking my usual Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set the concealer under the eyes and I'm running the Laura Mercier translucent powder down the T area and just along the jawline there. To contour I'm taking the Rodial Instaglam contouring powder and this is in 03 and this is a lovely matte powder I'm just running this all the way along my cheekbones, my temples, my jawline and across the top of the forehead. I'm then going to use the same powder and a flat brush just to contour down the tip and the sides of my nose. The highlighter then, I'm going to use the Rodial Instaglam Illuminating Powder in 01 and I just love this packaging and I'm using my new Real Techniques brush and I'm highlighting my cheekbones, down my nose and the top of my lip and this has a very similar finish to the Kevin Acoin Celestial Powder. I'm loving my Naked 2 palette at the moment and I'm starting with Foxy and running this all the way across the lid right up to the brow bone and then using the Light Shimmer Booty Call and running this across two thirds of the lid starting from the tear duct area and finally going back to the palette to take YDK and with a fluffy brush I'm just patting this into a V shape along the outer corner of the eye and into the crease before blending this all together and any remaining product then I'm just running into the centre of the eye to blend that with the first colour that we applied. And as always I'm just going to ensure that it's all blended together using a large fluffy brush. I'm going back to YDK then and applying this underneath the eye but avoiding that tear duct area so we can keep it bright. And I'm then using the Rodial Smoky Eye Pen in brown and applying this just where we applied that shadow and this is a really creamy pencil, it's really easy to smudge out. I'm following that line through then just through the outer corner of the upper lid. I'm then taking a Real Techniques brush in 202 and I'm just going to use this to really smudge out the eyeliner and because this brush is so firm it makes it really easy to smudge the product where I want it to and elongate that soft eyeliner even further. I'm also just smudging out underneath the eye just avoiding the tear duct area and then taking some Cheryl eyelashes called Belle of the Ball and I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics lash adhesive and just sliding these into place 
using a tweezers to help me position them. And then taking my usual L'Oreal super liner and I like to just run this along the edge of the lash just to ensure that there is no gap between my lashes and the skin. I'm creating a gentle cat flick and then just joining the lash up with the corner of my eyes. And then taking the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara and I'm just trying to apply this just to my lashes here without going all the way to the end of the false lash just so I can keep them looking as natural as possible and then applying the same mascara to my lower lashes. For the lips I'm taking a MAC lip pencil called Dervish and today I'm running this just along the natural line of my lips before taking Charlotte Tilbury in Bond Girl to finish off the look. And that is the finished look everybody, I really hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me your comments and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, can't wait to see you in my next video, bye! Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to achieve a natural looking ev- shimmer? Shimmer. 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 Shimmer? Shimmer. Shimmer. Hello doggy. Hello doggy. Hello doggy. Hello doggy.